yeah, Dolphin Dee was born of, actually, of Trayvon Ball, uh, which was my event kind of introducing Flirt TV to everyone. Uh, definitely the intention was to have another one this year, and this year has kind of taken off at runaway freight train speed, so I, I haven't um, been able to do that, but I'm definitely hoping to do another one soon. Uh, but when I was getting ready, but in, in preparing for that, I started hearing about all these bullet troops in the area. It was sensational. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what if we had a night at some club somewhere, handing out flyers for Doll Dizzy. It starts raining. So we sneak into the peacock room because it was right there. Mm -hmm. We're like, well, let's have a drink. Start talking to the bartender. He's like, we're looking for something to do here. We start talking and end up, end up with Doll Dizzy. And it, it started with uh, bringing in other troops, and it gets it just gets really hard to kind of with people everybody's schedules like trying to get people on the same page. Uh, plus, I had a really specific idea of what I think for should be, and what I wanted a show that I was representing to be. Like I think that there's room for every every type, and I think that there's room to enjoy every type, and I do. Put a pretty girl in a corset and have a band and having a good time doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, but as far as what the show I wanted my show to be. I knew what I wanted it to be. And so I decided to just put, I was like, I'm a dancer, I'm a choreographer, I just put together my own stuff. And that's where that started. That's great. So tell me a little bit about what you have going on here. This is very, very exciting, and I'm going to sneak over and grab a flyer for you, too. Um, it's Burlesque 8801, uh, Cattleman Steakhouse, which is where we are now, Cattleman Steakhouse and Saloon. Uh, will be kind of moonlighting, getting a kind of sexy alter ego um, every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. And it's going to be flipping into Burlesque 8801. And basically what we're going to be doing, there'll be some incredible lighting that we're going to be hanging here in the next couple of days. And the tables, we'll, I'll take you around and show you all that great stuff. We'll clear all those tables. There'll be a dance floor. And then your entire bar staff, your bartenders, your cocktail servers, your shop girls, are all performers. We have singers, dancers, um, I have Isabella who's training tonight, uh, Bella Bubbles, is her <laughs> stage name. <laughs> so Bella Bubbles, who uh, is an aerialist and does Lyra and Silk. We have um, professional dancers. We have a girl that's a gymnast and acrobat. And it's like amazing, like can walk on her hands for like ever. <laughs> She's like sensational. Um, flare bartenders, we have some fire eaters and uh, fire poi and all that amazing fun stuff. Just like a nice eclectic group of performers. So it feels like, like you said, like this old school burlesque where it, was, it wasn't just girls taking their clothes off. And of course, we are going to have some classic burlesque. Right. It is our drive, so it will be to, not too tasty, <laughs> not as saucy as some of my students have gotten to me, but. Right. Um, but still, tons of fun. I want the feeling to be that there's always something going on. It's going to be feel very continuous. However, there are 30, it's going to be basically, as far as the performances are concerned, it's 30 minutes on and 30 minutes off. Okay. Um, so, so there will be... So it's kind of like um, Chichi Tango, where they have yes. dancers and stuff going on, which seems like all the time, but right. they... But, exactly. It's not, it's, so you're not bombarded. You still have time to get some drinks. You still have time to... Also, the people that are performing are going to be bringing your drinks. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to want them to be really like, okay, if you could, right. Yeah, we don't want to make people... <laughs> yeah, you don't want them to be uh, so busy that you can't get your uh, flirtini <laughs> delivered to you. <laughs> uh, I started choreographing. I started doing everything from, from that side of it, um, which was for Halloween of last year. And um, that was great. And then it basically, uh, by the next one, I was short a person. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I could do something. Mm -hmm. uh, so I sing as well. Um, and so I sang uh, Christina Aguilera's Nasty Naughty Boy, which has a great kind of old school bump and grind feel to it anyway. Like, you just want to strip it and listen to it. Pulled <laughs> uh, a guy on stage. Kind of and did the striptease around him on in the chair, kind of singing and dancing around him. At one point, made him hold the microphone so that I could take stuff off, and like, like back and forth like that. Um, and it was so much fun uh, and extremely <laughs> nerve wracking because the guy who actually pulled up on stage was my best friend from high school, who had actually moved to California, and I did not know was coming to the show. Oh my god! So he was there to see my very first performance <laughs> of Closer Personal. <laughs> Also, the artistic director of my high school, I went to performing at high school, mm -hmm. and the artistic director of my high school actually just happened to come that night with him. 
and I was like, awesome, here's what I'm doing. It was fun. <laughs> it was my musical theater training. One of the most recent and like, like panic, because I almost never, it never usually makes me panic, but um, I was performing with, with Vida and Spikey uh, in Georgia, and um, Vida and I did a little opener to Telephone, to Lady Gaga's Telephone. And I was kind of doing the Beyonce part. Mm -hmm. And I came out and I had this coat. And I pulled the coat off and kind of got low to watch her while she was singing. And two of the buttons married my fishnet somehow. Like they became one with my fishnet. <laughs> and I went to stand up and I couldn't get the coat off of me. And I was trying to like fidget with it to see if I could just untie it. And I couldn't, couldn't. And there were the wide ones. And I was like, how is this happening? <laughs> that button is not as big as these tight. And I literally just had to rip it and pull it over my so I had two giant holes in my other Excellent. These are brand new. Yeah, sweet. Very good. Those aren't cheap either. <laughs> they, they can look kind of That's why um, people need to sit more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for both, I think it's important to know, do a little bit of research. Look up some photos. I mean, everybody's on the internet these days. You can just get online and like find some pictures. See, see what you like and then get in front of the mirror with the laptop and like <laughs> yeah <laughs> emulate i mean it's the best way to really know feel, feel how that feels because it's not going to feel like any other picture you've ever taken pinup modeling is nothing like swimsuit modeling which is nothing like high fashion modeling like you need to know that it's totally different and even if you've done one or two of the other pinup is totally different <laughs> it's sexy in a whole new way and um, or a very old fashioned way <laughs> that we're not used to now making it do stuff. So it's, that's the most important thing I think is like do a little research for both because also for less you're gonna want to have your own flavor and you're gonna have want to have your own persona. And taking your clothes off in your room with the music is very difficult. Taking your clothes off and putting it on. Yeah. Friday the thirtieth. Okay. Uh, doors open at 11, which is super exciting. Uh, and that's, there might be some uh, some crisp crossover happening just then. Friday the 30th is the, the first opening. Saturday, we're kind of treating the entire weekend as the opening. So, if you come Friday or Saturday, you're part of the opening. Uh, we're very excited because Three Olives brought it, sponsoring us. So we're going to have some really fun three olives, hopefully some fun giveaways and such, and drink specials, and it should be a great night. It should be a really great night. Is there anything else that you wanted to say regarding your interview? Just uh, really excited that there's a call for blog spots like this, and the, that there are people kind of tuning in and, like, connecting as a community, because I know we're all out there, and I feel like we see each other on the street, like, yeah. Okay. I like I like us connecting and like getting together and having fun because what we do is fun. Yeah.